how's it growing? I've created what I like to call a free range worm farm with wood chip mulch. Well, that's a lot of free mulch. Yes, it's free. And I'll talk about that later. Here's what our place looked like when we first bought this house. This was pretty much the eyesore of the neighborhood. I love showing these pictures to people who have seen our place just to see their reactions. <laughs> that sound is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you, yes, dead dirt. Can you believe that, Sally? <laughs> about those earthworms. Earthworms do so much to improve the soil. They always show up on time to work, they never call in sick, and there's nothing better than worm castings for soil health. But earthworms are also a great indicator of whether you have dead dirt or living soil. Before you couldn't find an earthworm if you dug a hundred holes on this property. When I started heavy mulching with wood chips, it really created a population explosion of earthworms and it turns into such amazing soil. Now I could dig anywhere where I've done this mulching and I would quickly find earthworms. And oh, I'm sorry to disturb you earthworms. I'm trying to plant a tree and, and now I, I'll, I'll take that wood chip mulch and I'll lay it down thick. If I can, if I have enough mulch around my fruit trees, 12 inches thick. Here's a critical thing you don't wanna miss. Whether it's a young tree or mature tree, keep the mulch pulled well away from the trunk. You can basically suffocate a tree if you don't pay attention to this one point. I'm at the base of my beloved mango tree and I want to keep it happy and healthy. So I, first of all, I do not mulch up against the trunk. With mature trees like this, there's something called root flare that you often see big roots that are exposed to air and it started developing bark like this keep that roof flare exposed. Organic matter can hold up to 10 times its weight in moisture. Look at this. You do not want this up against your tree trunk. And some plants might be able to handle all that mulch, but just in case, keep it pulled away from your plants too. And that's a lot of free mulch. Yes, as I've mentioned, this is free mulch. Oh, come on, what's with the mask? You're outside, you're alone, and COVID oh, is- Okay, calm down, calm down. It has nothing to do with COVID, and I'll explain that later. About that free mulch, how do you order a delivery? A lot of people use a service called Chip Drop, and if you've had good luck with that service, great. I have not at all. The way you do this is you contact a local arborist and ask them to do, do these deliveries. They would much rather give it to one of us gardeners than to take it to the dump where they have to pay a fee. If you happen to live in Broward County here in South Florida, I recommend Ray's Custom Tree Service. He's also great with trimming fruit trees, especially fruit trees, but really any trees. When he trims our mango tree, I tell him I'll keep the mulch as well as I'll take whatever mulch you have in the truck when you come. I'll leave more information about Ray's custom tree service in the description below. Two things you should really know about this mulching. First, about that mask, if you have any fungal allergies, I recommend the mask because the methane gases will kick up some fungal spores that can make you sick. So I always wear the mask as well as do things that boost my immune system like take zinc, extra vitamin C, even garlic but do whatever you normally do to boost that immune system and be sure to get into that routine before you start mulching. Secondly, this can be very labor intensive. So I avoid doing it during the hottest months. I consider it the workout for my week and I like the physical challenge. A couple years ago, I injured my back doing something else. So just to prevent another injury, I wear this back brace. You could use a wheelbarrow, but I like using this old trash can and haul it around with this pot wheels, which comes in very handy when moving big heavy pots and loads of mulch. To dig deeper into soil building, check out this other video. I'll take this, live regeneratively, and let's grow together.